Hey guys, good afternoon. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. So I wanted to come on and do a live video real quick for you guys on a few tips to help you boost your performance. I am here at the park right now looking for a spot where I can do this live video for you guys. So um, the reason, I guess the reason why I really wanted to bring on this video is because you know, um, I've been having like a few people who ask me like, how do you do it? How do you have so much energy? Um, how are you all over the place with your kids? How are you able to keep up with your schedule? And so I want to share, um, you know, a few tips that are going to help you hopefully boost your performance. And there's a big dog. <laughs> To hopefully boost your uh, your performance. Sorry, guys, I got distracted. There's like this big old huge dog next to me, and uh, you know, um, goal setting has a lot to do with it. You know, uh, goals give you momentum. They give you encouragement. If you guys checked out this week's video, you guys are going to know that. But um, you know, besides all of that, there's also other ways to help you boost your metabolism, and so. I want to share those 10 tips with you today to hopefully help you out and so, so hopefully you can feel you know a lot better have more energy you know be more efficient and things like that okay and so the first one is you know let's go ahead and start off with remembering that your health is valuable okay your health is valuable from it depends your performance you know how active you are how you feel um, from your health comes your emotions you know if you're not eating healthy then you're not gonna have energy if you're not resting enough then you're gonna have breakdowns you're not gonna be able to focus you know so your health is everything and if you have good health you're gonna have good performance right but if you don't eat ha uh, healthy and you have bad habits then you're gonna have bad performance okay and so your health has a lot to do with your performance, has a lot to do with you being able to focus, has a lot to do with you having energy, being able to keep up with your schedule and all that good stuff. You know, um, before I started my journey, I weighed 90 pounds and a lot of people thought I was healthy just because I was thin. I was not healthy. I was actually very sick. I had anemia and I was very weak. And so, you know, you look at people nowadays and because they're thin, you think they're healthy. Well, that's not the case, right? And so I am like testimony of that. And so uh, first of all, um, working out is going to boost your, your performance, right? Because it's going to get you um, in a state where you're releasing hormones, where you're just... Um, being more active, you know, the blood flow, all that good stuff is going to help you out. Okay. And so working out at least 30 minutes each day is going to help you feel good. Not only going to help you feel good, you know, physically, but also mentally. I don't know about you guys, but you know, when I'm feeling super stressed out, going to the gym just makes me feel so much better. And the reason is, is because your body is releasing hormones. And so yeah, you're tired, you know, the hardest, the hardest part is getting started. But once you start seeing results, once you start being more active, you'll find out that working out is actually going to improve your performance. And so, you know, it's recommended that you at least work out 30 minutes a day for you to be able to have better performance. Now, um, it is going to help you physically get results. It's going to help you mentally because of the hormones that are being released but it's also going to build your confidence right and whenever you feel more confident you're able to have better performance right you're able to have a little bit more of what is it called um, an outgoing personality you know and I put this on my snapchat a few days ago that we all have this distinguished personality my personality is super weird um, you know, we all have our personality and sometimes we don't uh, let our personality shine because we're not confident, right? 
but the more you work out you know you are doing something to better yourself confidence starts coming in and then your personality starts showing right and so when your personality changes not only are you um you know better uh, with creating habits and staying on track but you're also going to attract more people in your life because your personality has changed right and so i don't even know where to sit because there's like people all over this park and i don't want it to be super noisy okay and so working out at least 30 minutes a day is going to help you in many areas of your life okay um, another one is knowing the difference between proteins, okay? Soy protein, whey proteins, all that good stuff is so important because, you know, I had an issue when I first started um, gaining weight. I was drinking a lot of whey protein without, um, you know, lifting. I was doing a lot of cardio and doing a lot of whey protein. But I found out that instead of gaining muscle i was gaining a lot of fat i felt super bloated and then i would drink this um this protein like around i sleep very late but i would drink it around maybe 9 30 or 10 at night and you know i felt super bloated i was so full i literally like felt like throwing up and not only that but my metabolism was working at night and so I wasn't able to get rest because the, the protein was working, you know? And so, you know, it's very important for you to understand the different um, proteins and what they work for, um, you know, and be able to know when to take your protein, when not to take your protein. Don't make the mistake that I made. You know, I was very thin, but I was very skinny fat for the reason that I wasn't lifting or anything and I was consuming a lot of protein and you know because of all the protein that I was drinking that wasn't being broken down I was very bloated you know uh, protein ca causes a lot of gas if it's not broken down and so you know that's why in Herbalife we offer the amino gym because it helps you break down that protein but you know being a, a newbie and not knowing much I was consuming all this protein feeling super bloated almost making myself throw up and so i wasn't enjoying the journey i was like oh my god is this what i have to do to gain weight i don't know if i can do this right and so you know if you're interested if you really want to get results you have to research you have to get out of your comfort zone and do some research right if you don't know recipes figure it out if you don't know about protein figure it out if you don't know about pre or post workout drinks figure it out right because it's going to take sacrifice and you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone to get that information and when i started i didn't do this i was just depending on my coach and kind of doing whatever and so i wasn't getting the results that i wanted okay the other one is fats so it's very important to focus on healthy fats right saturated fats um, take away your energy you know eating um, outside food fast food you know is going to make you feel very fatigued but instead of eating those unhealthy fats because our body still needs fats of course um, try replacing it with health healthy fats you know some nuts some avocado something that is going to be different instead of using that canola nasty oil you know switch it up for olive oil just try to do the most healthy alternatives for yourself because consuming too many fats especially unhealthy fats is going to cause you to be tired and fatigued okay and so when you're tired and fatigued you're not able to focus you're not able to work out because you're not feeling physically well right and so the other one is Um, sugars try to minimize your sugars and this is something that wasn't too difficult for me with drinks when I first started my journey I've never been a person who is very much into sweet drinks or into um, 
cokes or anything like that juices you know it was very very easy for me to let go of the sugary drinks and sometimes we are eating healthy we're doing everything we're working out but we can't let go of the soda we can't let go of the sugary drinks and so just remember that you know excess sugar turns into fat which is gonna also cause you to feel tired and so you know um, try to minimize the sugars try to eat um, you know try to eat um, I lost my train of thought over here kind of distracted try to not consume sugary drinks that way you're not gonna feel tired or you're not gonna feel fatigued right and so um, try to consume fiber as much as you can right and so eating foods high in fiber are gonna help you go to the restroom are gonna help you not feel bloated you know be more regular because I don't know about you guys but when I first started I was super super bloated like I said I was skinny fat and actually after having my son Joshua I was so bloated I did a digestive cleanse and I was able to lose six pounds and so that's amazing you know try to eat foods that are high in fiber because you don't want to be bloated and you don't want to feel groggy throughout the day right another one is eat um, immune boosters right um, you know the tea eating foods that are high in antioxidants berries pineapples things like that are gonna help your metabolism work are gonna help you go to the bathroom you know the more uh, clean your metabolism is the faster it starts working and the more energy you start feeling right and so consider eating antioxidants things that are gonna help you boost your metabolism and feel good um, and then another one is try to avoid, avoid starchy carbs, right? Switch it out for complex carbs instead. So instead of eating, um, you know, flour tortilla, switch it out to um, whole grain. You know, if you're going to be eating rice, instead of eating white rice, switch it out to um, brown rice, okay? And the reason is, is because you don't want to have the starchy inside to the point where you're feeling tired, fatigued because you are bloated. And whenever you eat starchy carbs, you're not able to go to the bathroom as regularly and you're not able to perform perform good, right? Um, and then, um, of course, consider your pre and post-workout drinks. Um, this is so important. There's like people right here. Um, consider your your pre and po post workout drinks you know there's pre workout drinks that are healthy you know we have our lift offs they have vitamin c they have caffeine you know but um they are going to help you perform better at the gym you're going to feel good even if you're not working out and you drink a lift off you're going to have more energy you guys know i am a big huge fan of lift offs not only lift offs but I'm also a huge fan of tea. And so also before working out, you know, if you're in a state of mood where you're don't, you don't want to work out or you're just feeling lazy, take, out a, take that pre-workout, right? Because you're going to feel so much better um, in a few minutes and you're going to be able to perform better and go full force um, at the gym or wherever you're going, okay? And then the post-workouts, you know, not only not only uh, proteins you know we have our rebuild and other products but you also want to make sure that after your workout you're eating right you're fueling your your body with complex carbs and proteins that way you're able to build the muscle and you're able to create that energy for your body okay um and then the other one is drink lots of water you know, dehydration can also cause you to be super tired. I have the hardest time drinking water, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's difficult for me and I drink a lot of caffeine. So, you know, especially now in summer, summer's coming around and you want to hydrate your body, right? Um, because if it's not hydrated, then you're like basically going on low fuel, right? Okay. And so... Um, electrolytes are also super super important in 
you know in summer we lose a lot of electrolytes if we're working out a lot we lose electrolytes if we're doing a lot of cardio so just make sure you know to drink something we have our CR7 which is super high in electrolytes you know and we also have the H2O but you really want to uh, be able to replace those electrolytes that you're losing because you don't want to feel dehydrated and then you're going to feel like poop right i don't know about you guys but i have gotten dehydrated many many times when i was pregnant i was at the hospital all the time getting you know ivs and all that good stuff and i felt really tired being dehydrated okay and so also try to um minimize your salt right you don't want to have water retention and feel super super heavy you know throughout your day and so eliminating salt as much as possible is also going to help you feel good okay and then the last one that i want to share with you guys is rest rest is so important you know make sure you get at least six hours of sleep you know my schedule consists of i was supposedly going to go to sleep at 8 30 never happened because i have so much energy that i can't go to sleep early i would literally go to sleep at 8 30 wake up like an hour later and i would not be able to go back to sleep because i have so much energy and my mind is always thinking that i wasn't able to sleep right and so they say that you know when you sleep and you wake up in the middle of the night it's like you're starting a new cycle of sleep so i finally decided that my sleeping time was going to be around 9 30 or 10 and i was going to make sure that i wasn't waking up like I previously was because it's like starting a new cycle and so for me it's better for me to wait uh, go to sleep a little bit later but have that entire night and sleep nice and restful you know than waking up several times at night and so uh, you know um, sometimes my schedule gets super super messed up you know being a mom being a wife life life gets in the way you know and life is crazy but you always want to make sure that you get your six hours of sleep. And this is something that I've had to force myself to implement this in my life. Because if you don't get enough sleep, your performance sucks. You're not efficient. You know, you're trying to create your business. You're trying to get results. You're going full force, but you're going full force and not being efficient because you're feeling so tired. And so all that full force that you're putting into it is you know, a waste of time. And for me, it's better for me to be restful, have less hours throughout my day, you know, change my schedule a little bit than for me to be going full force and be super tired and have breakdowns and then having to start all over. Okay. And so if I wake up at four o'clock in the morning and I go to sleep at one, I make sure to push my hours a little bit more um, later on for my wake up time, right? because I wanna make sure that I'm getting at least six hours of sleep, you know? And yes, you know, when you're creating a business, when you have a family, when you're working out and you have to sacrifice time, you know, sometimes you're not gonna be able to get those eight hours of sleep, you know, but I still wanna advise you at least get six hours of sleep because if you are restful and um, you're feeling good, you're gonna be able to perform better, you're gonna be more efficient, you're gonna be nice to people, you know, you're going to be able to be surrounded by people and your day is going to go amazing. But if you have a sucky attitude and your attitude sucks throughout the day and you wake up super tired and in a bad mood, then I guarantee that your day is going to suck because your day is determined 10 minutes within waking up and your attitude. And so just remember these 10 tips. I hope they help you. I hope they inspire you. I hope, you know, that you're able to implement them in your life. If you guys have any questions, make sure you put them in the description box. I'm super excited because I haven't done a live video on this page for a long time. Probably like six months. And so I'm super excited to be with you guys on again. I will be hopefully posting videos every Wednesday around this time uh, for Wellness Wednesday. So stay tuned for all those videos. And don't forget to share so other people can benefit I love you guys so much and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye guys.